He is the master of time, the lord of the year, the priest of the sea worm. He names the months and counts the moons and predicts the arrival of the Nale, the sacred sea worm that appears only once a year. According to the Marapu, when the worms swarm, it is time to begin Pasola. I had come to Sumba to document Pasola, a strange ritual where hundreds of men on horseback hurl spears at each other. What I discovered on that remote island was another kind of battle. It was a fight over the future, a clash over calendars with the ultimate winner in control of time. The island of Sumba reminds me of that 1950s sci-fi movie, The Land Time Forgot. This place is filled with legends and spirits, and the people used to be headhunters. It's not easy to get here. It's isolated in the Nusa Tenggara region of Indonesia, not far from the islands of Rinka and Komodo, where the giant dragons live. I'm here to document a mysterious ritual called Pasola, where hundreds of men on horseback fling spears at each other. Pasola occurs only on Sumba, and really only on the western half of the island called Sumba Barat, and it only happens once a year. I'm learning that the exact date can be difficult to determine. A lot of things on Sumba are difficult to determine, but there is an order, an order dictated by the Marapu. Marapu influence everything. Abis itu peninggalan berserta dengan peninggalan peninggalan itu yang dikatakan Marapu bersamaan dengan nenek leluhur kami yang ada pada waktu itu sang pencipta kampung ini itulah yang kami percaya namanya Marapu. So Marapu it means kau dengan Marapu it means is the their ancestors who died a long long time ago is their Marapu Marapu it means uh, uh, the spirit of the ancestors is on the sky. Lives in the sky. Lives in the sky. The ancestors may live in the sky, but their bones are here, in these tombs. And these tombs are everywhere on Sumba Barat. Each one holds the remains of a lot of people. As long as you are from the same family, you can rest together in the same grave. Now, back to the battle over time, the clash about calendars. This fight has to do with Pasola and the Marapu, but in particular it is a struggle between the government and the Marapu holy men, who are called Ratos. This is the field where Pasola was supposed to take place today. But uh, as you can see, nobody's here. Normally the Rato set the dates for Pasola, but this year the government came up with a bright idea of uh, scheduling their own dates. And uh, so that created a problem. The local Ratos decided that they wouldn't go along with the government. So the uh, Pasola that was actually scheduled to happen here today, uh, the villagers said, don't do it. And if you do do it, we're going to come and kill your horses. This is very serious business for these folks. And if you don't believe it, just look at these uh, gravestones here that surround the Pasola yard. These are all guys that have been killed while uh, riding their horses, throwing spears in Pasola. They bury them here by the field. 
According to the grandfather say, if you die on the Pasola time, we'll bring you a good blessing when you are in the heaven. Uh -huh. So if you die on the Pasola field, you get a blessing in heaven. Uh, yeah. <laughs> this is the village of Bukabani, home to the Rato who postponed Pasola. He is a special Rato called the Rato Nale, which means he is the master of time, the lord of the year, the priest of the sea worm. It took some serious negotiating along with cigarettes, betel nut, and a little money, but finally the Rato Nale agreed to talk. He explained that according to the Marapu, the swarming of the sacred sea worm called Nale was the signal that Pasola should begin. He said there were seven signs he used to determine when the worms would swarm. The moon was one, three had to do with special plants that would blossom, and three were too sacred to tell me. He had made his calculations and the time was not right. The worms would not mass for several more weeks. There would be no Pasola in his village until the Nale arrived. So it depends on the, the moon. The full moon. The full moon. And uh, after full moon, they counted seven nights, seven dark nights. Yes. And after that, they counted to pick up the Nale. So seven, after, seven after, days. after seven days, then the Nale come. The Nale come. Each year, the Nali swarm only for a few hours, usually seven days after the full moon in February. It is part of the sea worm's reproductive cycle, which is coupled to the cycles of the moon. For centuries, the Ratos have named the months and counted the moons and used their lunar calendar to tell the people of Sumba when to plant, when to harvest, and when to have important ceremonies. But now the government wants all that to change. Imagine for a moment that the United States government decided it would be better for business if Christmas was always celebrated on a Saturday. Priests and bishops would be up in arms, claiming that any change to the traditional date would not only undercut the whole reason for having the holiday, but would ultimately undermine our entire culture. Basically, this is what's happening on Sumba. While the village of Bukabani refused to have Pasola on the government states, the village of Sodan decided to go along. According to the Marapu, the Nali must swarm on the morning of Pasola. If there are a great many worms, it is a sign of good fortune. If the numbers are small, bad luck lies ahead. I spent three hours in the trees with the Ratos from Sodan. They said they were performing a ritual to welcome the Nali, but it seemed to me like no one really expected the sea worms to show up. I asked them about Pasola. Why do they do it? What is the significance? The answer was always the same. We do it because our ancestors have done it for a thousand years. I pressed them on the subject. Why throw spears? Why risk your life? The answer was the same. It is our way of honoring the Marapu. They cracked coconuts, barbecued crab, ate sacred rice, chewed betel nut, and smoked cigarettes. But on the morning of Sodan's Pasola, the Ratos found no Nale. Pasola begins when a special Rato gives a signal. It goes on for hours until the same Rato gives another signal for it to stop. It's one village against another, and the rules are simple. Don't hit a man when he's down, and don't seek revenge if someone you know is killed. That's about it. 